Well, I've come to this meeting, I think, since 2009. I think my first one was in 99, so it's 15, 16 years now. I sort of always have a space in my calendar marked out well in advance. I usually come even if I'm not presenting something. I always like to be here to see people. I would describe the meeting to someone who's never been before as probably a lot different than what you would expect. Now we've sort of opened up um, to a broader range of pharmacologists, basic and clinical pharmacologists, academics, people from industry. I'm here to present my work and receive valuable feedback. It's the meeting which brings pharmacologists together and it's like a big extended family. And there's travel grants available from the society which helps to attend. A lot of people go to conferences which are very much in their specialised area and that's useful. But this allows you to sort of pop your head out of the ivory tower and uh, find out what's happening in the rest of your field. We have around 50 countries represented at the meeting. It's the international arena. We have basic scientists, we've got people from industry, and then we have many clinicians attend the meeting. That broadness of interests is a very important part of what pharmacology is about. It provides opportunities for collaboration that can translate, I think, right from looking at a new target for a drug into development with early startup companies, industrial sponsors, right through then to their use in clinical practice. That's what the pharmacology meeting is all about. The content is always great. Whoever organises the programme invites some really good people, some not just uh, established speakers, but people that have been doing some really exciting science throughout the year. There's loads of different types of sessions, not just in terms of subject, but in the way that they are presented. There's mini symposium, symposium, grand lectures, posters, so it's very accessible. How do you get the regional ischemia? Well, I, use, yeah. um, I usually use the sutures. As people will openly discuss things and question things as well, which perhaps you don't get when you're at a focus meeting. I'm really interested in the CGRP and migraine uh, symposium. I think there's some really fantastic speakers. The keynote lectures are, are special because you get to see someone who has reached the top of their career and they often talk about their pathway and you can see that they face many of the same battles the rest of us are. There is no one correct way to get to the top. Grit and determination seem to be a major factor. I think one thing that's really surprised me about this year's meeting is the quality and quantity of um, some of the work that's been represented by the younger members of the society. Um, in particular, our undergraduate members have um, chosen to step up and speak about their research to more senior members. And I think it's really excellent that society has managed to provide a platform for younger people to talk about their work openly. Isometric contractions, it's, it's still widely used. The, the conference is attended by world-leading pharmacologists in the area. We've been reading their papers. It's, it's really interesting to get a chance to finally meet those people and get their opinion on our work. I, I come for the science and for the pharmacology itself, but I also come for the networking, for the people. There's a lot of space and time in the meeting for that to happen. I'm just here to kind of network and explore some extra research for my dissertation and my modules at university. And it's actually quite easy to go and talk to the people who've given the talks and, and ask questions. I didn't think it was going to be that easy when I came. By coming back year on year, I'm able to meet the same people, catch up on what they're doing, it has actually resulted in some, some cool collaborations. We had just over 1,000 attendees last year. We've got approaching 1,100 this year. That can only be good. We're, we're going in a, a, a really good direction. We are responding to comments, introducing new ideas, and responding to what people say to us. And the three words I would use to describe pharmacology would be diverse, um, stimulating, and welcoming. Inspiring. Progressive. And I suppose Christmas. It's always nice in the winter and something to look forward to. It's like a little present in itself getting to go and see all these uh, the other things that people have been doing during the year.